In this lesson, we're going to look at measuring reaction rate using the volume technique. For this, the chemical reaction must result in a gas being produced. And we'll take, as an example, the reaction of, say, hydrochloric acid with zinc. OK, so we've got dilute hydrochloric acid. And we add some zinc powder. And immediately that we do that, you'll know that hydrogen gas is released during the reaction. So we can write out the chemical equation for that reaction. Gives us zinc chloride. OK, let's just balance that. We'll put a 2 there. And that equation is balanced. So what we're doing in this reaction then is we're measuring the rate at which hydrogen gas is released into this gas syringe. OK, so... We've got a gas syringe. Gas syringes are quite expensive. They're made of glass, but they are relatively accurate. So you can measure the volume of the gas in millilitres. And so what's going to happen is that the plunge or piston is going to gradually move along the syringe to the right like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure the volume released every given time interval. That time interval might be every 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds or a minute, but you will but you will measure that volume and then plot your results on a graph. And your graph will eventually look something like this, where you've got the volume in millilitres against time. And uh, you can then use that graph to calculate the reaction rate at any given time. So, okay, so, so really what you're after when you're performing this experiment is this graph, a plot of volume against time. Um, one of the things that you need to watch out for is that this, these gas syringes, as I mentioned earlier, are quite expensive. And, uh, you know, there's a danger that the plunger could be pushed out of the syringe itself and fall on the floor and break. So that's a practical detail that you need to watch out for.